Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys how I do the page boy hairstyle. And by the way, this is definitely for anyone who has long hair. I added my 20 to 22 inch extensions. So uh, it takes some time, but it's definitely doable. But I'm using Hot Tools uh, curling iron, and I believe it's the 3 4 inch wand. So that way they do that a good size rolls. Um, usually you can use a bigger like a one inch, but I feel like it's a little too big, so definitely just uh, stick to using a three inch wand. I am parting each section, as you can see. Um, I'm using my little teasing comb that has um, a the long stick at the end. Um, but yeah, so part each section, not too big. Curl them. And on top, I have my bangs completely separated because that's going to be the last section that I'm going to be curling. And as well, that I that's where I'm really going to be styling um, the front part as I blend it in with the rest of the hair. So uh, take your time, obviously, because this this actually I feel of everything else took me a little more time but you'll get there so I'm starting out with my right side since my bangs fall over to the right um, I'm curling everything over to the right on that side and then uh, you'll also see another part of the video the other side uh, my left side so then I'll be curling that you know towards the left so opposite And I'm also using the little silver pins. I will put that in the information section of this video. You can get them at Sally's or any beauty supply store. Uh, don't lose them because I have probably gone through boxes upon boxes or just randomly find them all over the house. But they do the job very well. And also too, um, as far as before curling and everything, I actually use um, the Chi Styling Cream. Um, you just put a little bit of that all throughout your hair. That way definitely helps hold everything in. Um, leaves it very silky and I love the smell. I love all of Chi's um, products. Their scents are so good. I wish it was in a candle. So as I'm now starting the back part of my hair, as you can see, the rolls are going inward, not flipping upwards. As you can see, as how I'm um, rolling the hair in, and then you're just going to pin them back. So left side, you're going to be curling to the left inward, and then on the right side, you curl your hair into the right way. This was such a workout for my arms, and I'm pretty sure for a lot of you it's a little workout with working with long hair. Um, I love it, but at the same time I'm like, oh my god, I better have some muscles after this. Once you start getting the hang of things, then it will be faster in a way, but anything with long hair it does take longer to style. Um, but aside from that, this is pretty much where I'm almost towards the end of setting my hair. So what I also don't do too much is really set the last section of my hair. It's not that much hair. Plus this is going to be getting teased and it's kind of part of your base which, when it comes to molding. So don't worry about it. Just curl it a bit and then um, now you go to your bang area. So yeah, so as you can see the direction that I'm curling my hair in. So like I was saying, it's to the right. And depending on your preference, whether how much volume you want or how much fullness you want, um, just grab a good, good section. Depending on 
the precision and how you want it to be. I highly recommend um, teasing comb that has a nice uh, wrap tail at the end or just like the thin pin like that one so helps with doing smaller sections. This is what it should look like after you're, you know, pretty much about to set your hair for a bit. Um, I slowed this part down just to show you how where I parted my hair. So depending on the direction that you want your hair to go, uh, you will be rolling it into that direction and then the sides towards their own direction. And then as far as the back, like I was saying, I don't have that much left so I just left it openly curled like that so during that time just let your hair set um, I actually did my makeup as you can see so this is a good I actually think I set my hair for about 30 minutes on this one but this is when you just start teasing it as definitely making the biggest rat's nest that you can because this is your base and this is also going to be what brings the volume and the definition of the page boy. I also gather more hair in the back as well, but this is just the from the section that I did not fully uh, pin curl. And then I just lightly spray with cooking spray. Not too much because you're still going to be um, shaping it so you don't want it to be so stiff. So now you can see from the back form, I am going to take about the midsection of the back and also tease all of that. So this is what it looks like. The back obviously is a disaster, but this is when you start pinning the bottom. So I use the longer bobby pins. Uh, these ones are specifically for long hair, and I'll add that in the description box. But yeah, so this is when you just start kind of folding it over and just pinning it. That way it holds. And then I just kind of spread the hair about all over. It's kind of hard when you're not doing it in front of a mirror, but practice enough to do it. So now that's what it looks like pinned in. And then this is when you get the rest of your hair from the back as well, part of the sides, and just kind of blanket over the teased section. So just gently brush it. 
because this is the section where you're going to smooth everything over to create, I guess, your speed bump. The section that is what makes the page boy the page boy. So use your duckbill clips to put everything in place. Definitely smooth over things. And as you're styling, you know, you're gonna smooth it over even more, but just don't overdo it with the section that you teased. I also took part of uh, my side, I think that's on my left side, just so I can cover the left portion of my tease there. So I got a bigger brush, this is like a regular brush, but something that has soft bristles, so that's going to help smooth over the hair. I had another type of brush, but I can't find it, but this Connor one will do. But yeah, so this is when you just start kind of smoothing everything over. Uh, just a little hairspray, not too much as you're going until you're fully done. But as you can tell, I'm just pinning also that section in. I know it looks very, very lopsided, but as you smooth over and then pin tighter if you need to, and that way you can hold it in. Then you get to your bangs area, and that's when you're going to be really sculpting and molding, depending on how you want it. But yes, yeah, so that's why I leave that for the last. That way, if I'm going to take any hair in, it's for another part of my hair. But this is where it's more focused on. And yes, you're going to tease it too. I love volume, so depending on if you want to move it more subtle, you don't have to tease it as much. Whereas for me, I'm more of like the bigger the better, but I'm kind of doing on this one more of a medium volume. And then even on that side, you're going to as well blend it in and then take it in from under. This is what your back should look like, kind of like a mushroom, and then just smooth it over. The camera does not make it look like it's so smooth, but it is, I promise. And this is now the front part where you can really play with how you want to style your hair. So as you take out the rolls, I usually do section by section, but you're going to tease it. Okay, I want to give you more of a detailed close-up. So, as you can tell, I've teased more a lot of the sides, so doing this, this is going to be part of what helps bring in that, that rumptuous wave. And just spray a little bit, like I said, not too much. You can use any holding spray, really. Um, I couldn't find my other hairsprays. I'm in the process of cleaning through my cabinets, so my got to hairspray definitely does the work. So the whole section's teased now. Now you use the Denman brush. The bristles on the Denman brush will not brush out your curls, uh, whereas other brushes definitely will. So now you just start sculpting and molding as you go. Take your time, just keep going until you find that perfect style that you want. And you can see also how you're going to be blending in with the rest of your hair. So that's why 
it's a good part of that chunk that's teased even more. Then you're going to get the duck bill pins and if you want to do more of a wave, that way you just push the hair in, indented lines per se. And that's what it should look like. So this is the final look. I use my duck bill pins just to help set the wave. And then depending on how much longer you want it to set, um, I also, by the way, after I spray my hair down with the Gatsby, I use a blow dryer just to set everything in place. I swear in a lot of my videos, I look naked, but I just wear strapless things when I'm getting ready because I just get hot so easily. So I hope you enjoyed this and like I said this is with 20 to 22 inch hair so it can be done but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this.